Hey everybody, it's Professor Evans. Uh, this message, uh, this announcement, this video is for uh, Monday morning, November 22nd, and we are getting ourselves into week five of the course, unit five, that's gonna focus on, as you can see here, conflict. And conflict is basically just the fancy word in language arts for the problem of the story. And obviously uh, in storytelling, having some sort of a problem or an obstacle or uh, something that the character wants and they can't get. Uh, this is what drives a character. Um, this is what drives a story forward. Without conflict, there's no story. And we can tell this in our normal everyday lives when we hear people tell us stories, right? If you have someone tell you a story and they say, um, you know, I woke up and uh, so I hit, I hit my alarm clock, right? And then uh, so I went downstairs and uh, after I got dressed and I had my breakfast and um, yeah, I went to work. Like something doesn't click. You consider that a boring story. Um, and I think part of that reason is because it doesn't have a conflict. The person doesn't say I overslept. The person doesn't say I lost my wallet and I had to look for it before I went out the door or I realized I was low on gas and I wasn't going to make it to work on time because I had to stop at the gas station. Like these are the stories that hook people because they have conflicts. And the reason conflicts work so well in storytelling is because they give us something to try to figure out, right? We, we want to root for this character to figure out their problem before the last page of the story or before the, the credits roll in the movie. Okay. So there's a few different types of conflicts that we're going to focus on this week. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Um, the, the main types of conflict is uh, usually in a story, you've got um, character versus character. And that's the pretty classic one, right? Like Batman versus the Joker, right? You just have like the good, the evil, or the antagonist protagonist, and they're button heads because they both want different things. You also have character versus themselves. And this is typically when you see a character have to um, work up their confidence they uh, have a goal they want to achieve, but they're kind of standing in their own way. Um, they have op personal obstacles, like stories about addiction are very much so character versus self. And then you've got these character versus society conflicts where you've got a system of rules um, that exist and a character breaks out against those system of rules for whatever reason. So if you've ever read 1984, uh, The Hunger Games, um, you know, uh, uh, any, any, any sort of, um, of those series that came out, like, um, Maze Runner would be another example of a, of a character versus society conflict, uh, Fahrenheit 451. Anyhow. So, um, what you guys are going to do this week is you're going to be reading. Well, first you're going to be finishing To Kill a Mockingbird if you haven't done so already, but you're also going to be taking a look at these short stories. We've got Shirley Jackson's The Lottery, which is top five favorite short stories of all time. You've got Philip K. Dick's story, um, The Hanging Stranger. And then you're going to learn a little bit about Margaret Atwood and Handmaid's Tale. You're not reading Handmaid's Tale, um, but you're just sort of getting like a snippet into that uh, story. So um, I'll get back to this revising an essay here in a second, but then you're going to write your discussion board for the week. Now, the discussion board this week is the only thing that's due this week. That's it. The paper, which is down here, okay, that's not due until the end of week six. So you have two weeks to do it. But so your discussion board, two things, right? First, in one to two paragraphs, argue which of the unit five authors, that's all you've got to pick from, best portrays the conflict of person versus society and how. So you might like to do some more research on The Handmaid's Tale to write about Atwood. Um, so it's a which one exemplifies it the most and how do you feel they exemplify it? Okay. Next, it's my check mark. Share a modern day piece of literature. Could be a news story, article, video, movie, whatever it might be, that supports your response and is a direct connection to the story you chose. Okay. And then post a link so we can go ahead and find it. So if you're going to go with the lottery as being the best example of person versus society, what's a modern day piece that connects to the conflict present in that piece? Um, so that's what you're going to be working on this week. Okay. The research paper I'm going to start talking about in depth on Wednesday. I'm going to give you a little tips to, to um, 
make sure that you're able to be successful at that. And one last thing just to draw your attention to, um, there's a second topic for this week, revising and editing an essay. So um, basically it gives you a, a, this link here. It says to this helpful article on how to revise an essay. And revision is going to be important for the next two weeks because hopefully um, you're not waiting until the end of next week to write this whole paper. Hopefully you're going to chip away at it throughout the week. Um, so this, this will be very helpful uh, for you. That's it. And that's all we got for now. Um, and uh, hope you have a great week. Oh, last thing. Uh, there will be no office hours this Thursday, so no office hours this Thursday because it's Thanksgiving. Um, however, I'll be available throughout the week through email, um, and you can always call or text, um, and I will get back to you. All right, have a great week, everyone, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.